I'm almost getting used to seeing you on your feet again. Almost. Stay out of trouble. Reports from all five boroughs. More Hydra troopers with fangs. Talk about making a bad thing worse. I've tried tracking down what they're up to. Find anything? Nothing that could still speak. I may know somebody who could help. No offense. This isn't exactly friendly neighborhood stuff. Not sure your contacts will be much help. He's not that friendly. Who? He's also not one of the bad guys. Who exactly? A physician, of sorts. Look, do you want to figure this out or not? Glad to see you're coming out of your shell after all these years. Never seen a vampire feed on another vampire. I felt it. One time. I bit you one time. It wasn't fun for me either. You taste like an old barbell. <sighs> There's a cat fight joke in here somewhere, but I can't figure it out. Look, Dr. Morbius, we need your help. Someone is turning Hydra troopers into vampires. We don't know why or what they want. According to the creature I just ate, they're after my research. I can tarry no longer. I must return to my lab before they... You're going nowhere. Don't have a hissy fit. It was right in front of me. Uh, maybe we can help each other out. So, where is this lab? You get used to the stench. I never do. Wait, wait. You were right, Doc. We shouldn't have tarried. I see you've located the doctor. I hope he's feeling cooperative. I think we're all on the same page here. Common enemy, the greater good. Everyone gets it, right? Of course. We'll see.
stopping evil doers and providing children with an acrobatic show. Well done. worthy of being classified as vampires. Not that I'm overly protective of the title. That didn't stop you from feeding on them. Who knows is I'm I can Some of us have tried harder than others. Oh, do you think I haven't tried to end this? I think you don't mind that you failed. like us a bad reputation. must be stronger than it looks, otherwise you're in trouble. Maybe you don't understand my path, Blade. 
I have surmounted one challenge after another just to reach this point. I know what you've been trying to do since you turned, and it has nothing to do with stopping the thirst. Where my blood fails me, I have no choice but to feed. But that doesn't mean I can't change at all. Hate to break up the moment, but you should probably deal with the bad guys, right? I doubt they were expecting such resistance. He was not one of the bad guys. Knowledge has no inherent morality. This is science. Tell it to them. They'll be fine. Eventually. What exactly are you doing here, Dr. Morbius? Research. A gamma serum flows through the blood of these Hydra soldiers, augmenting their capabilities inspired me to concoct a prototype sample, a serum of my own. I thought it might dampen the effects of the sunlight on my abilities, but its protective qualities were far more effective than I expected. Oh, are we talking... Daywalker in a vial. Morbius, tell me it doesn't work. Not yet. The prototype sample needs time to fully mature. But it's gone along with all my notes. I'll have to start over. Looks like they're back for seconds. Nah, they have the sample. They want to take out the only competition in town. Then we shall dissuade them. Not allow them to destroy my work. Protect my equipment. You left out some important details of your research, Doc. Some things are better left unsaid, but it was all necessary.
Give the mother my regards in hell. Hydra or not, this is wrong. The work Hydra has done with gamma injections was too profound to ignore. So you've been using them as some kind of guinea pigs? Sounds a little unethical, Doc. As a them. Big difference. like they just missed their mama. Search here can help you defeat Hydra, and I've removed some of them from the front lines in the process. I don't see the harm. Heroes usually stand against human experimentation and false imprisonment because it's, you know, evil. Rarely have I ever been accused of being a hero. <laughs> These fanatics are always the same. An 
unexpected benefit. at all, Morbius. You're just lucky I'm working with the Sons again. As opposed to what? Me leaving you here with your experiments. Permanently. Maybe we can all hug this out later. No further abomination. Okay, okay, it's cool. Morbius is with us now. With us? You would bring a vampire into the Abbey? Well, he's not a vampire. Not exactly. If he was, he'd be dust. He became this way because of an experiment gone wrong, not a bite from a vamp. He's his own master, right, Doc? If I may... There are few judges of character better than Spider-Man. Back me up here, Blade. As much as I hate to admit it, we could probably use his help. This once. Hunter, was it? Thank you for not making a bigger deal about my arrival. I know my presence unnerves many. You surprised me earlier, and I do not like surprises. But any friend of Peter is a friend of mine. I am relieved to hear it. You have a wonderful home, and a great many resources. I look forward to making use of them. How do you think you will help? I am the world's foremost authority on vampire physiology. Blade knows a great deal about vampire rituals, habits, and social order, but he doesn't understand their biology. Why should that matter? <laughs> In a sense, you could say Blade can take a vampire apart, but he can't put one back together. I do not want to put vampires back together. Oh. Of course not. Let me put it like this. If you understand the structure of an organism, you'll know its weak points, where to push so it falls apart. This is what I offer you. Then let me officially welcome you to the Midnight Suns. <sighs> you will not regret this. Now, can you show me where we keep the prisoners? I would like to feast. What? <laughs> Only kidding. I think you'll be happy to know that I've actually already started researching vampire biology. That sounds like good news. 
Unfortunately, I also have bad news. I've been tinkering with a prototype gamma serum that suppresses the effects of sunlight on vampiric membranes. The vampires have taken that from me. Then we must take it back. That is why I'm here. And I would love to get back to that research. Unless you have further need of me. I want to know a little more about you first. Naturally. I am an open book. I have heard you called a living vampire. What does that mean? It means that unlike most vampires, I have a pulse. How is this possible? Most vampires are tied to the supernatural realm. They are undead creatures. My gifts are a boon of science. I am wholly unique in that way. Quite literally a freak of nature. Who were you before you became a vampire? I was born with a rare, degenerative blood condition. My disease would have proven fatal if I had not taken matters into my own hands and experimented on my body using vampire bat DNA. I cured myself, but there were side effects. You seem to know Blade and Spider-Man well. What is your impression of them? When I first became the living vampire, I struggled with my baser instincts. It took me a while to maintain control over my appetite. Spider-Man and Blade were the first two heroes I encountered, and they protected many innocent people from my wrath. You mean they fought you? Yes. But I am grateful because they encouraged me to become a better man. Though I wish Blade's approach hadn't been nearly so ferocious. I would like to know more about your capabilities. Like a traditional vampire, I possess enhanced strength, speed, and acute senses. An accelerated healing factor allows me to bounce back from otherwise mortal injuries. And while I cannot fly in the traditional sense, I have the psionic ability to glide over great distances. Who were you before you became a vampire? I was born with a rare, degenerative blood condition. My disease would have proven fatal if I had not taken matters into my own hands and experimented on my body using vampire bat DNA. I cured myself, but there were side effects. Do you share other vampiric weaknesses? One of the advantages of being a living vampire is that I do not have those Achilles heels. I could drink holy water all day, and a silver bullet stings like a lead one. One slight exception is daylight. I do not burn under the sun, but my eyes are sensitive to the light, and my powers are somewhat dampened during the daytime. Do you have to consume blood like any other vampire? Regrettably, not only do I need to consume human blood, I crave it. But you do not need to worry. I keep my cravings in check these days, and only feed on those who prey on others. Never mind. I will let you settle in. Happy to talk any time. is worried about this guy, he must be dangerous. Hey Hunter, Parker and I cooked something up and we think you should be a part of it. Oh, you know, if, if you're free. I could be free. Right on.
Then let's head over to the shop and... Ah, oops. Almost spoiled the surprise. Uh, tell you what, if you come with me just for a bit, I promise we won't waste your time. All right. Where are we headed? Oh, it's not too far. I can't wait till you see it. Hey, you made it! Told you. You want to give the rundown, or should I? I got this. Welcome to the shop. What is this place? For me, it's a piece of home away from home. Quite a setup. What need does it fulfill? All kinds. Usually, I work on the Hellride, and Parker tinkers with his web gadgets. And as we do, we brainstorm ideas of what we could work on together. You call it the shop, but I see nothing for sale. That's the beauty! For me, it's an auto shop. For Parker, it's a workshop. We're both wondering what it's going to be for you. There must be a reason you do this here instead of the Forge. Two reasons. Tony Stark and Doctor Strange. We wanted a place with good vibes and less bickering. Where we could focus on a project without the smartest men in the world telling us how to do it better. The shop is where you work things out for yourself. I understand why the two of you are here, but why invite me? Caretaker always described you as someone who worked with their hands. You made things. You did the work. So we want to make things with you. Help you do the work. You two are so thoughtful. Where do I start? Wherever you want. Why not let Parker give you a quick rundown on our current project? After that, we'll close up the shop. All right. It's all pretty neat, huh? There's not enough here to give you a tour, but I did want to show off our first project. Don't have a name for this yet, but if you run into Eddie again, uh, Venom, we think this could give you an edge. When we fought Eddie, the symbiote reacted strongly to your presence. It noticed something about you and tensed up. Our project takes advantage of this. This project of yours, what does it do? Our first prototype dulls your presence around the symbiote. Makes you harder for Eddie to notice. So, a uh, symbiote muffler? Ha! <laughs> it is now. The other prototype will help if you're ever caught in Eddie's tendrils. It blasts a distracting subsonic pulse that should give you time to both fight your way out and hit him with a counter. Like your zingers that keep him distracted? You know, Robbie and I should let you name all our projects. Then we need to miniaturize it so it fits in your suit, but we could have it ready pretty quick. I look forward to seeing it in action. I knew you'd be into this! We are going to make so many weird things together! Oh yeah, I can scrounge enough components to finish this project, but if there were more, we'd have more options. I'll put together a list and send it to your spark. Bring what you can next time you're here. All right. turn out better than expected sick Robbie can show you out let him know when you're ready to go so that's the shop what do you think you and Parker have outdone yourselves then think of what the three of us can do I'll give you a heads up before shop class meets again shop class right that's what we're calling our time here See you then. Parker, you sticking around? That's 
Robbie can show you out. Let him know when you're ready to go. Sorry we didn't give you a heads up before. You know, about bringing a vampire into the Abbey. It all happened kind of fast. Are you sure we can trust Morbius? Yeah. Morbius has his demons, but he's a teddy bear. A snarly teddy bear. With fangs. But there's stuffing in there, somewhere. This is not helping your argument. What I'm trying to say is that Morbius has a good heart. And exceptionally good blood. Good blood? Yeah. Whatever Morbius did to transform his body infused the heme in his blood with curative properties. I'd love to help him study it further, if I ever have the time. Since we're fighting new breed vampires, we'd do well to have a living vampire in our corner. Anything else on your mind? What happens if Hydra successfully replicates Morbius's prototype sample? Sunproof vampires seem like a bad idea for all involved. Maybe not for the vampires. For now, it's just a scary theory. Even if it works, there could be side effects, like... New breed vampires bursting into flame upon contact with oxygen. Yeah, wishful thinking, but prototypes can be unpredictable. Just to ask Hank Pym about Ultron. Why are Hydra soldiers willingly turning into vampires? Define willingly. I think that's Sin's influence. They must be extremely devoted to agree to such a change. Or more terrified of what Sin will do if they don't. I wonder how becoming a bloodsucker mixes with the Gamma Serum already in their systems. I bet that's one hell of a hangover. Thanks, Carol. See ya. As long as Morbius is around... Blade, are you actually comfortable with Morbius living here? Comfortable? I'll never be comfortable around that monster. But if I'm being generous, he could be useful. If this was a mistake, let me know. We will do whatever you think is best. Hey, I don't want that responsibility. If this goes south, I'm not taking the blame. What exactly is your history with Morbius? I don't like getting into that. But the two of you have fought before. What makes you think we can trust him now? I never said we could trust him. If that man loses control to his bloodthirst, I'll end him myself. But the vampires are using his experiments against us. We need him to clean up his own mess. So Morbius is just a tool to you? Call it whatever you want. I call it practical. Doctor, meet the doctor. Now the Abbey... Checking in on me already, Hunter? I haven't had time to get into trouble. You can never be sure. I suppose. What can I do for you? Never mind. I will let you say. Happy to talk any time. Stephen, have you worked with Morbius before? Oh, yes. He is a formidable ally. He once assisted me in a battle against a fear lord from the dream dimension. Fear Lords are powerful foes. Yes, it was a boisterous battle, so I was pleased to have Morbius at my side. Undoubtedly, he will be a favorable ally against Lilith as well. So you have no reservations about letting him stay in the Abbey? None at all. As long as he doesn't grow too hungry, we'll all be fine. Wait, what should we do if he gets hungry? We should all be on guard. Steven, I need details. As with any vampire, he could lose control and eat every one of us, but I do not think that will happen. Tony, what is your impression of Morbius? Well, we've never actually met, but Strange talks highly of him. I am 
uncomfortable inviting a vampire to live in the Abbey. Hey, I know what you mean. Half the people on my board of directors are vampires. Not literal bloodsuckers, but they definitely try to sink their teeth into you. Or your pocketbook. Maybe. The guy's a freak, no doubt. But every genius is. You should have seen half my professors back at MIT. Or that Tony Stark guy who's always in the news. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I've read a few of Morbius's papers on DNA manipulation, and it's years ahead of anyone else. He could be a valuable asset. So you think we can trust him? Well, I never said that. But he could be useful. Yeah? Never happy. If Morbius is anything like Blade, I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Hey, Charlie Warley puppy face. Tower bells are ringing. My favorite childhood prank. But I have not heard them in so long. The caretaker must be wincing right now. Or maybe this was her idea of a joke. What is that strange ripple in the air? It is not quite wind. I knew you would sense it. It's the transmigration of life essences from one level of existence to the next. Human souls? No. Insects, birds, other creatures. The Abbey is a waypoint where the veil between planes is quite thin. During quiet times such as this, you could actually feel it happening. I didn't want you to miss it. That was thoughtful of you to think of me, Doctor. If I am anything, Hunter, it's full of thoughts. Maybe too many, swirling around in my head, crashing against each other in a chaotic cosmos of ideas that is the madness of my mind. Reminding myself that I'm just a small part of the whole of creation is a way I calm it. It also reminds us of what's at risk of vanishing completely if your mother gets her way. Indeed. But I have a feeling that with a life force like yours in play, that won't happen. Why do people use ketchup as fake blood? Am I the only one who can see the difference? Doctor, you are a renowned scientist. Of course. My body is a living testament to my skills at genetic manipulation. And my hubris. And you have some experience working with gamma radiation. Ah, I see where this is going. Captain Marvel's quest to find a gamma specialist. Unfortunately, your needs may be beyond even my expertise. The Abbey houses some of the smartest minds I have ever met. Surely we can figure this out. Well, Bruce Banner is one of the smartest minds on the planet. But his experiments with Gamma turned him into a nuclear weapon with a short temper. Trust me, when it comes to Gamma, you can't be careless. I understand. We will find another way, then. You know, I once knew an expert who specialized in gamma research, but I don't think he'll be any use to you. How can you be so sure? What is their name? Johann Fenhoff, otherwise known as 
Dr. Faustus. Hey, can I ask a favor? Ah, oh, thanks, Hunter. Good to see you, Hunter. Do you remember the bells, kiddo? When you were younger, I could barely keep you out of that time. Let's do this. If you... What's up? You have not set anything on fire today, have you? How's it going, boss? Reading's good. How's that for quality workmanship? No magic, right? See you around. I have something for you. Oh, a hot tip on a rent control department in Queens? Components for shop class. Eh, almost as good. I thanked you for bringing me back with you, right? No worries. People sleep, have hobbies. I'm here if you need me. This should keep someone busy. Sending your friends out to fight isn't the easiest choice, but we all know what we signed up for.
Hunter, do you have another intel cache? We're dead in the water without one. Stay out of trouble. Hey. Could we speak in private? Will this lead to the two of us shouting at one another? I cannot see how. Then, yes. Nico needs help prepping for a magic surprise party. A surprise party? Have you met magic? Why do you say that? Oh, just a feeling. What does Nico want from me? Can you handle the cake? Of course. The trick will be hiding the icing. Magic's sweet tooth can lead her to cupcakes at 50 paces. Pale skin goes with everything, but black is best. on the hunt. I just wish I could have brought my brother Gabe along. He. Hey, if we get enough members, we could start a cult. I hydrate. Blood is mostly. 